everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to volume two of the Warming Chronicles. This edition is Rose Girls. These are all the scents that I've melted from Rose Girls this month. So I'm going to talk about how they smell on warm. So um, if you watched my first video, I started out with a really tough vendor, Hayden Rowe. Rose Girls is a little bit more easy because her blends are... Um, more bakery based, at least the ones that I melt. I have a couple fresh ones, but these ones are some of my favorite blends that I've melted from her, from this company. So let's get started. First off, I'm going to talk about Koopa Kloss Needs a Latte, one of her best sellers from her Mario Melters. Um, Rose Girls is owned by Jenny Oaks from Oshkosh, Oshkosh Wisconsin, and um, has a really large following of customers and her Facebook group has over 10,000 people in it now. So fun fact, but you already knew that if you're already watching this video. So, okay. I bought two bags of this because I love, I love coffee. I love coffee scents, coffee in real life, coffee, ice cream. I love coffee. So this one is espresso, baked zucchini bread, sh royal sugar cookies, and Gilligan's brew. This one on cold is honestly espresso with bakery. When this is warmed, the espresso is more dominant to my nose and the coconut from the Gilligan's Brew creams this down a little bit and the zucchini bread is there as that bakery component. And the sugar cookie royale or royal sugar cookies is... I can't really identify it per se because there's a lot of other stuff going on in this blend, but this is a really, really great blend. If you like bakery coffee, this is one to try if you haven't already done so. I have another coffee one in here, so let's just talk about that. That would be Mr. Fire Mario. This is one of her new blends. This is Espresso Beans, which is a different oil from Espresso, which we just talked about. Espresso Beans, Marshmallow Fireside, and Donut Holes. This is a wonderful, nice coffee scent. And I will say the addition of the marshmallow fireside and the donut holes come alive on warm a little bit more than they do on cold. This one, this one is a little bit tougher to describe to you because I'm getting, you know how marshmallow fireside is that smoky, sweet marshmallow scent. I'm getting that on cold here with just a hint, just a hint of espresso. However, when you warm this puppy up, the espresso comes alive, I should say. This is a really good coffee scent. One of the best coffee scents I've had from hers, and I've, and I've had several. This is a really good one, really good one. I did not order any more. I have two bags of this. I did not order any more in the pre-order, and I told myself I would wait for the ready to ship if she pours any extras because I didn't want to. I was trying to be good. I'm trying to. I'm trying to really pare back on my wax buying, and unfortunately, I had to make a decision about Fire Mario. But Fire Mario is a hell of a coffee blend. Wonderful job, Jenny. Okay, next let's talk about Carbs with Ghoul Friends. Very, very, very popular blend. Carbs with Ghoul Friends consists of pumpkin sugar donuts, regular donuts, cookies, bread, pumpkin Noel, and fluff puffs. This is a bakery, pumpkin bakery scent. And on cold, I get, honestly, I just get mostly pumpkin sugar donut on cold. And the way I like to melt this is... I, I like this mostly blended with another type of bakery scent. I've blended this with coffee. I've blended this with marshmallow fireside, even campfire marshmallow. I've melted this with, um, with, I have both espresso and absolute coffee. I've melted this with both. I'm not crazy about this on its own. And I know I might be the only one out there who feels that way, but I feel this performs better when it's blended with something else. This is a strong thrower. It's a strong scent. It is pumpkin sugar donut heavy and pumpkin Noel and bakery. So I can't really identify if it's donut or bread or cookie that I'm smelling, but I really, I really like this blended with things also. And on its own, it's fine. I prefer it blended with something else. That's my opinion on this one. 
Next one, let's keep with the pumpkin. Pumpkin creme brulee pretzel and wafers. This one really surprised me because I thought, you know, creme brulee, it's kind of a light scent. You know, it's just it's vanilla. And pretzels and wafers and pumpkin. We'll see. This one really surprised me. I love this scent. And on cold, on cold, I'm really, really, really smelling the pretzel mixed with pumpkin. It's a really strange combination. Not strange as in bad, but just, you know, pumpkin pretzels, I don't really have a lot of those. <laughs> so I am getting the caramelization and sweetness from the creme brulee. I do smell that. When this is warmed up, I smell more pretzel. That salty, not yeasty, the salty bakery pretzel comes out. And then the creme brulee, that caramelized, you know, the crunchy top of creme brulee that you break your, break your spoon through. I smell that. And I smell pumpkin. So when this one comes back in the fall, or whenever Jenny pours it again, if she pours it again, I am definitely grabbing this because this is a really good scent. It is a comforting, warm, yummy hug. And it's very, very, very good in my opinion. I like that one. Next, let's talk about jumping on pistachio clouds. Now, jumping on clouds is the is uh, the main blend here. And pistachio, I mean, Jenny has done many jumping on clouds variations. But jumping on clouds, traditional, is cotton candy frosting, cup of cake, monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie, and vanilla crunch donuts. She adds the addition of pistachio in here. Why not? <laughs> and I really like her pistachio oil. And I will say this is a very strong pistachio oil. But don't let that scare you because I, I know pistachio is hard for people. I love it. If you watch my channel, you know that. But this one, the Jumping on Clouds is kind of light on its own in my opinion. I've had it before. And... The addition of the pistachio just accents the rest of the stuff that's going on in the blend. But about an hour and a half or so after this is warmed, you're left with jumping on clouds, in my opinion. The pistachio fades out to almost negligible, in my opinion. And you're left with the jumping on clouds. And I definitely smell the vanilla crunch donuts. And I definitely smell the cup of cake and the cotton candy frosting. This is a very good blend. I love pistachio, so I had to try that one out. Great, great, great job. Next, we have traditional baked zucchini bread, which I love zucchini bread. And I wanted to melt this recently because I'm trying to see, really, you know, I have had a lot of vendors' zucchini breads, and I just kind of see, you know, what does our base oil smell like? And I love this. I love this one. It's not too creamy. It's not too spicy. It's not too heavy on the bakery part either. It's a beautiful combination of all three of those, which is ideally what, what I'm looking for in a zucchini bread. I love this. It throws very quickly. I pop this in my warmer and I can smell it in a minute or so. I love this. It's it's very, very good. And I know there are people out there that hate zucchini bread. You smell like feet and corn chips and yucky, yucky stuff. But this, if you're a zucchini bread lover, next time she pours just plain zucchini bread, you know, I mix that with coffee. I mix it with marshmallow fireside. I do a lot of blending with zucchini bread. And I mean, it's already being done all the time. I I play mixologist here at my house too. Okay, next is Off the Hook. I love this scent. Fresh lovers, this is for you. This is ocean, salt water, kelp, oud, which is wood, patchouli, and Indonesian amber. Now let me tell you something about this one. This is oceanic, ocean. The kelp, the salt water, the... Patchouli comes out more warm on this. I can smell patchouli a little bit more, but sweet patchouli. It's not incense -y, It's not too earthy. This is an absolute fresh oce oceanic strong scent. This is about, I don't know if it's quite as strong as um, Coastal Kale, but it is, it's pretty close because it's, it's a very, very, very strong, clean oceanic scent. I do like that one. 
Next we have, this was a sample of stolen hoodie. Well, it wasn't a sample. It was, excuse me, it was not a sample. It was in the Halloween sampler that I bought last year. This is fluffy towels and cologne. And I'll be honest with you on this one. This smells better in the bag than it does warm. I was not, I was not crazy about this one. This, I'm not, I'm just getting cologne. The cologne has overpowered the towel component in this blend, in my opinion, on to my nose. And it really wasn't something that I, I had to really hover over the warmer to smell it. And this one, I, I, I'll finish this up because I don't like to waste wax. I'll finish this up. But it's not something that I would purchase again. But if, I mean, that might just be my home. It might be my nose. If you like this blend, I'm so happy that you like it. This one did not perform well for me on warm. We'll leave it at that. Next, we have Cookie Land. I finished up this mini melter bag. This was actually not a mini melter bag. This was, um, excuse me. This was a Mario melter bag. And Cookie Land is my... One of my favorite scents. It's such a good blender. It's good on its own. It's a wonderful scent. It is confetti cake, toffee butterscotch, pretzels, and cookies. Very good. The dominant here is, I'm, I'm, I'm saying the toffee butterscotch pretzels. Because even when this is warmed and it's been warming for several hours, I still get that salty pretzel. But there's cake in it and there's cookies in it. So it's a yummy great scent. And I know there are people out there that aren't fans of Cookie Land. I like it because it's so easy to blend with other things. And once again, I blended it with coffee. I blended it with zucchini bread. I've even blended it with, um, what was the other one I had? I even blended it with Bodacious Bowser, which I'm going to talk about here next. And it's really great combination. Uh, Cookie Land is, it smells those kind of the same in the bag on cold as it does on warm except you get i get more of a pretzel scent and i get more of the butterscotch that come alive on warm into my nose next we have sinus relief eucalyptus and peppermint this was a sample that i did get and honestly this one was very surprising to me it smells good in the bag like vicks eucalyptus Excuse me. But this did not perform well for me. This did, I couldn't even smell, you know how if you're melting eucalyptus or Vicks or peppermint even, and, and those sinus opening, nose clearing scents, this one fell flat for me a lot. But I haven't seen this blend itself. I mean, of course, I really, I haven't been looking for it. So if you, if you, like this scent and it works for you let me know it might i mean i i have two more pieces in here i'll give it a try maybe i'll melt it downstairs i had this upstairs maybe it's just warmer placement in in this in this regard here but i know that the sinus relief blends are really popular for cold seasons allergies whatnot so that one just was not the best for me so to give you the best warm review on that, I'm probably not the best one to tell you. Even the stolen hoodie one, probably not the best one. But I wanted to talk about it because I did melt it this month. And I wanted to talk about all the Rose Girls ones I did melt this month. I have a couple more here. I have Island Paradise. This is Tropical Fruit Salad, Honeysuckle, Coconut, and Orange Blossom. And I just talked about this today on my um, weekly melting video. And... I had, I bought this, this was one of the, this is a year old, this muffin, and I bought a pair of these, and I melted one, and it was not very strong to me, it didn't throw very well, so I thought, I'll let this muffin cure for a while, and here it is 12 months later, and I'm just getting around to melting it. Um, this one smells great in the bag, and when you're up close on it, I can smell it, but this one did not perform very well for me on warm. This did not throw very well, and it's a beautiful fruity fragrance. I mean, the orange blossom, the tropical fruit salad, honeysuckle even to give that little bit of floral component. This is, uh, I wish this was stronger, and this one... I probably wouldn't buy it again just because I, I like it, but I don't love it enough to purchase it again and give it another try. You know, maybe it was a bad batch. There's so many variables that can go into it. A couple more here. I have um, 
Grave Digger, which is blue sugar, sage, bergamot, and woods. And this simply was just a nice masculine cologne scent on warm. It really, I didn't really smell the woods, the sage, the blue sugar, or the bergamot. I didn't smell them like, oh, I can pick that up. Oh, I can pick that up. It just kind of blended all together for me into this nice masculine scent. This was, of course, the, the I don't know if it's a walking dead head or a zombie head or whatever it was, but it was the, the shape from the Halloween sampler that I purchased. And this one, it, it's, it's okay to me. These somewhat cologne ones I'm, I'm struggling with right now. So that one, I would probably give it another chance. It's, it's worth it because I could smell that one way more than stolen hoodie. So I'd be more inclined to give grave digger another try. And you know, I, I really only had a little shape to work with, so I couldn't melt it multiple times like I can when I have a big bag like this. So that one I'm going to have to give another try to, I think. Um, we have Huckleberry Zucchini Bread Cupcakes. There we go. Huckleberry, 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 Huckleberry Zucchini Bread Cupcakes. This one, I really like this. I really like this. That Huckleberry gives a nice punch and a nice pop of berry to zucchini bread. And this was, this was really, this was a really nice warm fragrance. I did, um, the two, the chunks that are in here. I do cut them in half, so I get four warms out of these two chunk, the two chunk sample bags that are here. So this I melted in my kitchen and it was glorious. It smelled like I was baking something. I loved it. My husband loved it. And I know there are a lot of people out there that like this one. I love this. And it smells just like bake, um, baking berry bread right out of the oven. That one pretty much smells the same on warm as it does cold. That berry just becomes a little bit more dominant when it's warm. And finally, my love of this month, Bodacious Bowser. I love this scent. The notes on here are Dunk My Donut, Monster Cookie, Waffle Cone, and Green Apple. And this one, oh, the Waffle Cone and the Green Apple are so good. The Dunk My Donut, I smell a touch of donut and a touch of Monster Cookie, but it's mostly that warm vanilla waffle cone and that green apple, that addition of green apple is so unexpected, but it blends so perfectly with the other three notes in this. This was a masterpiece, Jenny. This waffle cone, the waffle cone just, you know, when you walk into an ice cream shop, if they, especially if they make their own cones there, that, that smell that just hits your face as soon as you open the door. We have a local creamery here at, um, one of the colleges and I love that smell. I smell. I love that smell. It's like that with a mixture of green apple. It's not mac apple. It's green apple. So it's a little bit more tart than mac apple is. To my nose, green apple is a little bit more tart. This is a beautiful blend. Great one. So when that one comes back, if it comes back with the Mario, if Jenny does Mario again at the end of the year, which I hope she will, this is going to be a half pie if she offers those purchase of mine. So that is is my warm review video for this month's Rose Girls uh, scents that I melted. So hope you enjoy this video and talk to you soon.